Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So the topic of today's video is Zorin OS 16 first thoughts. Is it the best Windows 11 and Mac OS alternative? So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, Zorin OS 16 just got released on August 17, 2021, and it has come up with a lot of improvements in terms of its functionality, and mostly it has made a lot of improvements in terms of the user interface. And that is why a lot of people have started to think and believe that Zorin OS 16 is an alternative to the Windows 11 because Windows 11 just got some new features and mostly in terms of the user interface. So we will start with the user interface of Zorin OS 16. Well, as you can see on your screen, Zorin OS 16 have used GTK theme at this time and it have made a lot of improvements. As you can see, we have our application menu button and different icons of different applications docked at the bottom left corner. And we have some other widgets or you can say some other things at the right bottom side of our screen. Well, Zorin OS 16 comes in two version. First one is a free one and the second one is pro version. In pro version, we have all these icons at the center and it just operate like Windows 11 and it has a lot of similarities in terms of interface with Windows 11 and that is one more reason that people think that Windows 11 and Zorin OS 16 are alternative to each other. So if I click on my application menu button, here you can see we have a lot of things here. First of all, we have different categories of different application. It is just like any other Linux distribution. As you might have an idea that many Linux distributions offer same kind of user interface in terms of the application menu. Here we have first category of accessories, then we have games and so on. If we go into the internet section, here we have Mozilla Firefox as a default web browser. And mostly Linux distribution comes with Mozilla Firefox as a default web browser. After that, we have Office. If I click on it, here you can see we have LibreOffice as the official and default application for our documents. If I go back, you might be wondering that where is the mail client? Well, it is not available in the internet section you have to go to your office section and here we have evolution. So yes, evolution is a default mail client in Zorin OS 16. If I go back and now if I press my super key, here you can see we can start searching for anything in our Zorin OS 16 from here. And here we have small window. Basically, these are the desktop. At the moment, we only have one desktop available. Let me open my files menu. And now if I press my super key and now here you can see we have two of them available. First one is this one which is I'm using at the moment and now we have the option to go with the second one. If I click on this one here you can see we do not have our files open into this window. But now again if I press my super key and now I will click on it and here you can see we have our files open in this desktop window. And this is a very good thing that we can use a lot of desktop windows and it will allow us to keep one type of work in one desktop window and we can do different things in the other one. So as we have already opened our file, let's talk about it. So how cool it is that we have perfect blend of foreground and background coloring scheme and the icons of each folder is self-explanatory. As you can see, music is self-explanatory and so as the pictures. And on the left side, we have different categories or you can say different directories we can access from one click. Up here we have menu and from here we can do different things in terms of the interface or you can say in terms of how you want to see all these directories. So this is a really cool thing. So as we are talking about the user interface, well Zorin OS 16 have one separate section for only appearance and it is named as Zorin Appearance. I will just click on it and let's explore what does it offers. So first of all, we have the layout. This is the default one which we are using at the moment. And then we have the, this one. 
The only difference between these two is now we have the tabs for each application which we are using at the moment. As you can see here for Zorin appearance, we have tab here. If I go with this one, we only have the icon. The third one is this one. Here you can see we have all the applications docked in the center and we have application menu button or you can say show application button on the left bottom side. Then we have the default Ubuntu interface. Well, you might have an idea that Ubuntu comes with this user interface. If I press my super key, here you can see we have all the applications here, just like the Ubuntu. I will get out of it. In case if you want to get more user interfaces or layouts, you can get them by updating or upgrading your OS to pro version. And then you will also be able to get the layout which I was talking about that works just like Windows 11. I'll go back and I will go with the default one. Then we have themes and in themes we can have two themes. We can go with the default one or we can go with the dark one. Now we have one more option and that is you can have the blend of default and the dark theme as well and you can set it manually. After that we have some accent colors which you can set for your Zorin OS 16. I'm going with the green one at the moment and then we have the interface. You can do different things in terms of interface. The very interesting one is jelly mode. If I click on it and now if I move my this screen here, you can see it is giving me a wobbly effect. This is a really cool thing, but I think a lot of people might not like it. So that is why I'm going to disable it. And then we have the desktop option. You can select a different icon size and you can have these directories at your desktop. At the moment, none of them is here. So I will select my home and trash. And here you can see both of these are available here. Then we have the fonts. In fonts, you can set different types of font for different type of thing. Like for interface text, I'm using the font size of 10. Then for document, then we have monospace and so on. So I will just get out of this. And that was all about the user interface. Well, Zorin OS 16 also offers one very interesting thing and that is tour. I will just type here tour and here it is. I will just open it. Well, when you install your Zorin OS 16, you are taken to the tour of Zorin OS 16. Well, this tour allows you to have a brief idea about what this Zorin OS 16 will offer you. So I will start my tour here. This is how the open the menu to launch apps looks like. As I have talked to you earlier in detail, I will just click on next. And here we have different Zorin appearance. I will just click on next. And here we can have virtual machine. And these are the different accounts which we can add into our Zorin OS 16. And we can access all of them from a single place. Then this is a really cool thing. And that is you can connect your Android phone with your Zorin OS 16. And these are different applications which you can install and download into your operating system. And these are the offices. LibreOffice is a default one as I have talked to you earlier. But we also have the option to download and install only Office into our Zorin OS 16. I'm not going to do it. I will just click on next. And that was all about the tour. I will just close this one. Now let's explore the settings of Zorin OS 16 and let's see what this operating system or this Linux distribution is all about. So for that, I'll go to my about section. And here you can see the operating system name is Zorin OS 16. OS type is 64 bit and for windowing system it is using x11. In case if you want to update your software or your whole system, you can just go there and you can do so. And everything else is just like any other Linux distribution having Ubuntu as base system because Zorin OS 16 is based on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS version. So that's a really cool thing. And here we also have one option which says display. So you can check your resolution and you can have the orientation and you can set the scale of your display onto your laptop or to your computer. I will just close this one and now let's go to our menu. So here we have different things and we can access particular directories quickly from here. So just need to click on any one of these and it will open up. If I click on my calendar here, so from here you have all the information about calendar, but the main thing is a notification. 
all the notification which you will have into your Zorin OS 16 will appear here. So you can access all of them from here. And in case if you do not want to get any notification, you just need to enable this option. And now you will not have a single notification appeared onto your screen. And now here you can also see the icon. I will get out of it. And now let's explore the software repository of Zorin OS 16. So I will just write here software. And here you can see we have three options. This one is used to update your software. And this one is actually the repository. I will just open it and let's explore it. So this is how it's looked like. I will just close this one. And here you can download and install many number of applications for free and you are good to go. And down here we have different repositories which we can use to download and install different kinds of applications. For example, I want to download a particular game. I'll go into this section or you can say into this category. And after that, we can download the game from this category. So how cool is that? So as we are into our software, I want to talk to you about a really important thing. And that is the software repository in Zorin OS 16 now offers you direct integration with FlatHub, which is the world's largest source for Flatpak apps. And this allows us to install the Linux application from the Snap Store, FlatHub, and Ubuntu and Zorin repositories. We can also install the dev files, app image, and Windows app. But obviously, for Windows, we have to download and install Wine or any other software which will allow you to download and install Windows application onto your Zorin OS 16. Well, one more good thing about Zorin OS 16 is if you have some particular application which is natively available in both Linux and Windows operating system or even in Mac, it will ask you if you want to download and install that application natively or you want to use .exe file. That's a really cool thing. For example, VLC is available in Linux and in Windows and in Mac as well. So what it will ask you while you are installing this application it will ask you if you want to install it natively or you want to go with Wine. So that's a really good improvement. Other than that, Zorin OS 16 have improved touchpad gestures. Well, in Zorin OS 16, multi-touch gestures for laptop have been added out of the box. If you swipe your four fingers up or down, it will stretch between the workspaces. But if you use your three finger on the touchpad, it will open the activities overview. As you can see here, I have just swiped up my three fingers onto my touchpad and it has just opened the activities overview. I will again swipe my three fingers and this is how it looks like. Now let's open some of the application and let's see how it works. I will open my files and I will open my software repository and then see how it will look like. I will swipe my three fingers and here you can see we have all the applications which are opened in our system. And now I will swap my four fingers onto my touchpad and it will show us the workspaces available. And here you can see these two are available at the moment. So this is a really good thing in terms of the functionality and usability of this operating system. Now let's see if we have the firewall available into Zorin OS 16 or not. Yes, we do have the firewall available. Well, first thing is, Linux distribution do not get a lot of attention from the viruses and malware. But in case if they do get the firewall which are available by default are strong enough to deal with those viruses and those malware. This one also have the firewall as you can see here it is disabled at the moment. I will just enable it and the status is active at the moment. And other than that we have two options regarding the network traffic. First one is incoming and then outgoing. You can select if you want to allow or deny the incoming and outgoing traffic. So that's a really cool thing about this firewall. I will just close this one and now I will talk about a really good thing in Zorin OS 16 and that is now we have the separate application for recording our sounds. Here you can see we have the sound recorder available. So you can use it to record your sounds and your audios and you can edit it up to somehow within your Zorin OS 16. So that's a really good improvement and really good addition in terms of the applications and functionalities. I will just close this one and now I will open again my applications and now this time I will open my Zorin Connect. 
and here it is i will just open it and this application or you can say these features allow you to add or attach your android phone with your zorin os 16 so from here it will look for the available devices and then you can attach your phone with your zorin os 16 and from zorin os 16 you can perform different activities which you might perform on your mobile phone i will just close this one and that was all about the zorin os 16 and now if i compare it with windows 11 or even mac operating system so i would say there are a lot of similarities in all three operating system well in terms of user interface we have seen there are things which are similar to windows 11 and mac operating system but if we talk about the functionality or the way these operating system works well it is completely different windows 11 is from microsoft and zorin os 16 is based on linux so it is completely different that how these operating system work well if we talk about that with which one you should go i would say if you are coming to linux distribution and you have no idea that how to use any linux operating system i would suggest you to use or have some knowledge about how to use linux distributions because it is a completely different phenomena than using windows operating system and mac operating system but if we talk about the performance then zorin os 16 is a very light machine than windows 11 and mac operating system the size of iso file of zorin os 16 is about 2.6 gigabytes and it only requires 2 gigabytes of ram and along with that it only needs 15 gigabytes of your hard drive to run this operating system but if you are planning to go with the pro version then you might need 30 gigabytes and along with that zorin os 16 is supported and it is compatible with almost every type of laptop and every type of machine this is not the case with windows 11 and mac operating system because windows 11 require you to have tpm 2.0 in your operating system and only then you will be able to install it into your machine but zorin os 16 doesn't ask you for any such thing and we also know that as zorin os 16 is a linux distribution so obviously it is more stable more secured than windows operating system so i would suggest you if you have some knowledge and if you know that how to use the linux distribution then you must go with zorin os 16 then windows 11 because it offers you almost everything which you can find in your windows operating system and mac operating system but if you are a gamer and you love playing games then zorin os 16 might not be the one for you because first of all it is linux based and steam only supports 14 percent of total games which are available out there for a linux distribution yes there are some games which you can play onto your linux but if you are a gaming geek then zorin os 16 might not be the one for you other than that in every aspect zorin os 16 beats windows 11 so it is all up to you that what are your priorities and for which purpose you want to use a particular operating system and then decide if you want to go with zorin os 16 or you want to stick with windows 11 or mac operating system and with that we got to the end of today's video and i hope now you must have an idea that which one is the better one and which one is for you and i hope you must have liked this video if that is the case please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it if you have anything to ask please leave a comment below we will get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care